I think this Escher journey is going to be wonderful for everyone involved. And I have to remark to myself sometimes how crazy my journey's been that now is completely linked to one of my artistic heroes. You see, in my life, uh, there are three artists that really stand out. One is Fabergé, the great maker of kitsch and beautiful things. Then there's Albrecht Durer, and then there was Escher. Those are my three heroes. And it's amazing, in my life, at 58, I've uh, come to be known as uh, America's Fabergé, or the present-day Fabergé, and now I'm working with Escher. It seems impossible that two out of three have happened. And as they say, two out of three ain't bad. Well, the Escher riddle seems to be in every single piece of Escher's art. You, uh, you're, you're, playing, you're playing with the grand master on a three-dimensional chessboard when, when you're trying to do something around Escher. I'm doing things that he didn't do in his lifetime. He was drawing it, and he probably would have gone three-dimensional, but now that's my job. I love the idea of being back at my home in Canada for you know, the simple reason that this is an uncomplicated, wonderful place to live. I've, I've been in New York and London for really most of my adult life and well a little bit of Los Angeles when I went to military school and the cities the cities got a lot of things that one can fall in love with that would be fine dining great plays that sort of thing I came back to Canada and I just love the people I love the whole feeling of the country and I'm just really proud to be a Canadian I'm, I'm very very pleased to live here I think Escher's work is feeling contemporary in this day and age, even 20 years after he's died, because it is a challenging art form. It's a really deep art form. It's something that um, the more you look at it, the more you get confused or attracted. Certainly it's hard to ignore Escher, because the, the work does really polarize people, and the vast majority of people are delighted by it, and then there's a small group of people that find it very disturbing. We're going to Dubai in March uh, 16th for uh, really two reasons. One is I believe that it's a really wonderful place to unveil this art. And secondly, it's a perfect place to unveil it. And, and the difference between those two statements is that I say perfect because Escher's art is based largely on Islamic design. And when he walked into that uh, mosque um, in Alhambra um, many, many years ago, um, he was in sort of the mid of his career and the pieces he did before that uh, fateful moment uh, were beautiful. The pieces he did afterwards were, in my opinion, absolute genius. I see Escher enhancing all manner of architecture and uh, especially in big public spaces it just cries out for something like that. You see a lot of art that you just wonder how or why they ever put it there. Well, the Robbins is a beautiful shape, and it, you know it has the three chameleons inside, and I found those fascinating animals. In fact, my daughter had a pet that was a chameleon, and they were the most interesting things because the eyes can move independently of each other, so it can be looking at an insect, uh, looking straight up, and then looking down another insect below it, and then deciding which one it wants to catch with that enormous tongue. The most uh, challenging item that we're making for the upcoming Design Days Dubai show um, is the Mobius, without a doubt. Um, so what we see right here is the inner workings of the, of the uh, ant, and uh, it, the mechanism you see there is actually what will cause the legs to move in perfect algorithms to an insect or ant's body, except these ants are going to be three and a half feet long and made out of copper, represented and formed, and that will cover any mechanism that you see here. And so the finished product should be around 14 to 15 feet tall. So the aluminum will be sweep about that height, and then you'll have the ants walking in constant motion around that form. Richard Burton actually um, it looms large in my mind. He was my first big client that actually spent a lot of money and care with me. And then Dudley Moore became like a brother, and, and he um, purchased things every month, and he took great delight in what I made, and it, made, it delighted me that he delighted uh, in my art so much. So it really was a great give and take process with a client that I still, a client and friend that I still miss very much.
this, this piece is perhaps, um, despite how hard it is to put together, it's maybe one of the most logical pieces. It, it's, it, had to be, it has to be assembled out of many, many elements. But uh, some of the problems came to us kind of late, like how do we put the lizard into this uh, star after it is assembled? And so the idea is how do you cut it up? How do you uh, put it together? And you know, it, it's taken a thousand details and it, it, and it really is a thousand different approaches to a problem to fix it. And a lot of minds meeting and uh, putting, their, putting their thoughts together to bring it to fruition. I was attracted to the uh, design gravity because it presented two things for me. One was it looked like a true chaos. You had these animals and legs and the heads and the, the, the feet of them coming out in all different directions. It looked truly like chaos. We're making one that's um, two meters, one that's one meter, and then a smaller one. And really it looks beautiful together. You know, they're, they're mirror images of each other in different sizes. You know, the, actually, it, it is amazing because when we started doing three of them, it seemed logical that that should have been the idea from the get-go. But like all these things, Escher's work is so complicated that you're actually grasping at straws trying to get through it. And um, the idea is this one truly um, looks better with three. And I imagine we're going to be covering more and more stuff like that as we do this journey. We've got a number of years to be building this year after year, and I just think it's going to be a great journey for everyone involved.